We are one of the most polarized societies in Europe. We have several, Bosnia is a very polarized society, but main polarizing lines are among ethnic lines right now. We have others too that are less ideological, uh, uh, social uh, income, but the main ones that are being used right now are ethnic and with the ethnic polarization we also have religious because uh, three main ethnic groups are of three different religions. The biggest challenge I think right now is the apathy because uh, we, we have had since the early 90s so much populism. We had a very uh, brutal war and then after the sh a couple of years of post-war reconstruction and a glimmer of hope, now we have stagnation. Stagnation in both economic terms and stagnation in terms of uh, prospering, in terms of civil rights and human rights. And uh, people have this feeling that they cannot do much. Uh, they, don't, they feel like they, their everyday battles should be the ones of, for economy, jobs, for, uh, economic prosperity. They do not feel as much that they should fight for, for their own rights. For me, one of the best is the issue that I'm not an expert on, but one organization called uh, uh, Sarajevski Otvoreni Center, Sarajevo Open Center. It's basically, uh, they were fighting for LGBT and women's rights, and the way they really, just a small group of people who really believed in the cause, went around all uh, social actors, political actors, they spoke to everybody and they really put this into discussion without having to go into the streets and, uh, and uh, pull the attention on themselves as being targets. They actually set uh, tables with, uh, with all key players and they actually discussed the issues in a very formal sense and I think they, they went a long way of uh, putting the, the issues on the table without being too controversial, which in a very, very, uh, our society right now is very patriarchal, uh, religious institutions have big uh, influence, so for them it was a very smart move to do.